on. Am I excited for today's episode? We're gonna be doing part two of our Vancouver Bite Me episode. If you haven't watched part one yet, I'll leave it somewhere up here. Uh, oh, where do I even start from? Two locations today, four sandwiches, a boatload of flavors. Are you excited? Because I am. Let's go. <laughs> Before we start, uh, if you live in Vancouver, do you remember uh, the restaurant Al Petit Cafe on Main and 34th, which sells out of Bind Me by 12 o'clock like every single day? Well, they're closed down right now. Uh, well, they've been closed down for a while, but I was always curious, why were they closed down? I just found out today that because the owner retired, um, that's why they closed down. But the chef of that other restaurant, uh, Al Petit Cafe, opened this restaurant and they have the exact same menu, the exact same bite me. So, and they sell out a bite me here too, very, very quickly. So you gotta come here when you order and there's actually two things I want to order today they're known for here well all the bite me is pretty well known but we're here for the house special and I hear they make everything in house from their meatballs to all their meat the pate and the beef stew by me okay uh, let's order up and let's just see you know I I'm just excited because you know it's so cold outside so I need something to warm me up let's order Guys, this is our spread we got the house special right here which is what they're known for, everything is made in-house. And we got the beef stew, which is bite me ball call. As you can see, we got the carrots right here, big chunks of carrots. The beef, honestly, looks so amazing. This just looks so juicy. We got the cilantro up top, and we got one piece of big tendon right here. And every order comes with a French baguette, which is toasted, as you can see, chopped up into three pieces for you to dip or eat it any way you like. Excited! Oh my god, these sandwiches, they look so bomb. And the nice thing about it, it just came out of the oven. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with what they're known for first, the house special. Like I said, everything is made in-house. As you can see right here, we got the jalapenos, the cilantro, the pickled uh, carrots, butter mayo in there. We got the Vietnamese pork, ham, uh, chalo. And we got a big piece of pork right here and in-house uh, meatball. Still crispy. Mm. I'm not kidding you. The meatball, it's so creamy. If you saw the video earlier, remember when um, the aunt put the meatball into the bag meat and she just, you know, just swiped it down. It's that juicy. Love the pickled uh, vegetables inside. It gives it a fresh taste. Yo, it's the meatball that stands out. And it's French bread, it's just right. Crispy on the outside, but the inside, there's not much, um, um, you know, breading inside. That's why it's very, very light. Amazing. Mmm. Go ahead. And remember, this is the bread of their buying me at the other um uh, you could see Sagan when they used to open. They sell about four to five hundred by me a day. And it's all gone by 12 to 1 o'clock. So obviously it's really really good. Yeah, let's keep digging in. You know what? The meatball, it's not too salty. This is right, it's very, very creamy. Check this out. Okay, we're gonna go in, okay? Check this out right here. We're gonna go in for a massive bite. So creamy the meatball. It's not heavy on the stomach. That's what I like. Mm. Mm. So good. That's all I can say. Really, really, really good. 
if you're not into uh, the special uh, with the meatball, there's plenty of sandwiches on here. You got the chicken, you got the lemongrass, you got the veggie option if you're vegetarian. But this is obviously the go-to sandwich. Um, and you know what? I'm looking at the menu and everything is very priced well. This sandwich right here is only $6.95. Uh, you know what? That's like a Big Mac. Would you? I would pick this over a Big Mac any day. Everything is just fresh. And I'm gonna dig into this beef stew like me right now. Honestly, it looks amazing. As you can see right here. See that? It's like a thick soup. Oh my god, the soup is so good. It's thick, so it's like perfect when you dip bite me in. Oh my god. Big chunks of carrots, as you can see. Mm. It's just so tender. It's been stewed for a long time, obviously, but what I'm excited about most is this big chunk of beef right here. Look at that. You see that? That's huge. Mm. So tender. Love the fat on it. It still has uh, a lot of the joints in there, so it's like, it's stretchy. Mm. Okay, let's go for a big dip. This big tendon right here. Mm. It's so elastic -y. I love it. Okay. This broth, this soup, it's, it stands out. That's what stands out right here. It's gonna be perfect for me. Let me grab a bite me. So remember, the bite meat is split into three. Sorry, I only got one hand. We're gonna grab a piece of the bite meat and we're gonna dip it. Dip it, dip it, dip it. Mm. That's freaking awesome. That's so, so good. Taste it with the carrot. And a beef. Perfect. Fantastic. That's all I gotta say. Keep on dipping it, okay? Nice big dip. I'm a happy man right now. I'm so happy. I love this tendon though. So elastic -y. This beef stew, it's so bomb. It's the soup, it's the soup. With this bite meat, it's perfect. Mm. It just soaks. Right when you dip it in, this bread, this French bread, it just soaks all the juice in. It's just the perfect combination. Oh, and they have a curry bite meat here too. I wanted to order that, but you know, we had to go with the special instead. And that curry bite meat, it comes with the French bread like this too, on the side. Beef, this is huge. This is what I'm talking about. If I'm, if I'm gonna eat beef, I want it this big. Price by me here is five and ninety-five, so it's very, very affordable. Um, wow! And they don't don't get me wrong; it's not just by me they have here. They have a wide selection of pho, uh, vermicelli, and other specials too. So if you're gonna come down here, maybe get it by me and get something else with it. What's going on? We are actually in Chinatown right now. I'm trying to find DD Mao. I'm pretty excited about this place because they have a. You know, it's just their sandwiches. It's like next, next level. And I've never had sandwiches like this before. Okay guys, I just got a seat here um, at DD Mao. I gotta say, you know what? Coming into this restaurant and just Sitting in here, the vibe, the ambiance, the lighting, and to mention, all the pictures on the wall are, you know, pictures of her family from Vietnam. Uh, you know, I'm actually sitting in the family room right now, and 
I already feel like I know where she came from, where her family grew up. So I feel like part of the family. I'm not just sitting at a restaurant. I'm actually sitting at a friend's house. It's absolutely amazing. Oh my god, talk about bite me heaven. I don't even know where to start from. Kim brought out four different sandwiches and they absolutely look amazing. Where do I even start from? You know what? Let's start with a sandwich uh, that I've never even heard of. Okay, this first one right here, it's called a bite me moon chat. You know moon chat panel. So what they did was put the, the chat right here. Let me deconstruct this a bit. They had to put the chat right here into the bite me, okay? And you got your uh, pork right here. So everything you would get in a moon chat into a bite me. How awesome is that? This sandwich is next level. Like, I, I, I haven't even tasted it yet, but I'm already excited. Bite me moon chat. Whoever thought about that? DD Mao. They're awesome. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, DD Mao means DD Yang. That means go, go fast in Vietnamese. That's where they got their name. And another, uh, their slogan is Angon Wu Ma. That means eat good, sleep good. Absolutely love it. You know what? Let's get into this Bai Mi Boon Chat right now. Oh, we need some hot sauce. Sriracha. Bai Mi Boon Chat. Let's go. Mm. Wow. Boon Chat. Really good. Ooh, wow. This chat is absolutely fantastic. Mm, holy. If you see, it's just cooked right. It's not overcooked. Taste it with some jalapeno. Mm. Butter, mayo. Let me do some shark fish. Look at that. You got the pork right here. You got the mint, carrots, daikon. It's so good. Mm. This is a mucha in a bambi. This is awesome. But honestly, what stands out is, is definitely the jack right here, the pork patty. Amazing. Up next on the lineup, we got one of their special here, the barbecue duck. Never had a barbecue duck sandwich before. If you can see right in here, lots and lots of duck. Lots of duck, uh, all your pickled herbs. You got the skin of the duck right here. Onion, tomatoes, pretty much all the uh, vegetables is the same on every sandwich. Oh, by the way, Kim recommended us to some coffee. So if you like egg coffee, they come uh, with hot or cold. We got the hot version. Absolutely amazing. It's so creamy. The top, it's like a latte. and just hits the palate. Okay, let's go for this special duck sandwich of DD Mao. This is some good duck. Love the sauce on the duck. The duck sauce, the barbecue sauce. Can you see that? That's a lot of duck in there. Ooh, great. This is really good. Love the sauce, love the duck. And the duck is not dry. That's the nice part. Well good. Okay, but we gotta move on because I still got more sandwiches left. These sandwiches is so good. I can't stop eating it. Up next we got their chicken sandwich. And it comes with an egg. Um, Kim recommended me to put an egg in there. Big chunks of chicken. This this chicken, it looks like you know the chicken that you would get um, when you go to Vietnamese uh, restaurant on rice. It looks like that. Everything else is still the same, pickled daikons, all your vegetables. But this one has chicken and an egg. How awesome is that? Let's go in. Anything with an egg inside is, it's a winner. I eat eggs every day, by the way. Mm. That's a nice runny egg, just chicken. 
Oh man, this is this is exactly like I said, like a chicken on rice, but the like lemon rice chicken, yeah. But it's not dry. Nice big piece. Mm, that egg it makes such a big difference with the chicken. I feel like egg complements the chicken. Wow, these sandwiches are good. Mm. Mm. One more bite. Mm. We're moving on, we're moving on. No, we're not. One more bite. Mm. I love chicken, I eat chicken over here. But we seriously have to move on. Now we eat. Oh my god, I'm almost capped out. We are on our fourth sandwich right now. Um, oh, just to let you guys know, DD Mao has two locations. We're at their Chinatown location right now. Um, and they have one in Yaletown? Yeah. Yaletown on Pacific Boulevard. I will leave both address at the description below. If you like sandwiches and you haven't been to DD Mao yet, then you're missing out because they're taking your regular typical sandwich, but they're just bringing it to the next level duck in a sandwich you know like mucha in a sandwich like i've never heard of mucha in a sandwich but it works but our fourth sandwich to be honest i'm almost sandwiched out <laughs> okay i know lame joke <laughs> okay our fourth sandwich we got the beef satay and there's a lot of beef in there you can see that a lot of beef Beef satay. Let's go. Mm. 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 There's a little spice. A little kick to the beef, which I love because I like spicy. But my favorite, honestly, is gonna be the moon chat in a sandwich. This patty, this pork patty is amazing. Mm. Oh, so good. You must come here. You must come here. Hey guys, we are actually with Kim right now, the owner of DD Mao. And you know what? I was telling you guys about this amazing wall, so why not let Kim tell you? Because she knows about it obviously more than me. Kim, okay. this is absolutely amazing. I want to say that. And you know what? Like I told the camera before, like when I come into your restaurant, I already feel like I'm a part of your family. Like I'm not just going to a restaurant. I just feel like I'm going to a friend's house. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, so because it was a family room, we thought it'd be very fitting to pay that homage to my parents and yep. my family. So a lot of the photos are actually from their experiences in Vietnam. Uh, yeah, so here you'll see my parents. This I is your parents for you. Dating, you oh, know, wow. dating, um, <laughs> courting each other. This, is this you right here or? No, the, unfortunately, I'm the only one born here, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, these are all from my family. Okay. So those are my sisters. So okay. Dapper looking father, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mother, and then my cousin here Amazing. in the middle, so um, he's part owner as well. You know what's the crazy part? I'm just, I still can't believe you have these photos. These are probably what, from the 60s or 70s? Yeah, so then it was all old photos from Vietnam when they traveled here, so I did a little bit of photoshopping okay. and I cleaned yep. it up. And Amazing. then, yeah, just blew it up so then they can keep it as a souvenir too. And then, it, yeah, I was able to put it inside the room. So what a story! Yeah. What a story! You guys got it. If you guys coming here as a group, make sure you check out this family room and you know what? See where Kim and her family came from. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And that is a wrap. I am honestly all sandwiched out. Four sandwiches in one spot. I did not expect it. Four sandwiches. She brought out four. Honestly, I was just gonna order two, but hey, I cannot complain. Thank you for the hospitality, Kim. If you this honestly, 
It's a great place. Uh, just the toppings that they do. I've never actually been to a restaurant that does stuff like this. Though it's going next level. Get out of your comfort zone. Try something new instead of your typical not to be at like me. Uh, hey, if you like contents like this, please drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, is there any other sandwich spots in Vancouver that I must visit? Maybe I'll do a part three. Who knows? But thank you for tuning in today. Everyone, stay tuned. Until next time, peace.